an oldie but a goodie. It's been a minute. We haven't had we haven't had Milk Boy and Sargon on in a while. And in fact, it's been so long that uh, and I don't know how's the sh- channel doing. Uh, sixty two k views. That's that's uh, d- that's decent. Uh, the podcast of the Lotus Eaters. <laughs> I can't believe this still has people that watch it. Uh, it's certainly not what it used to do. Big time. Uh, hashtag Slopgate. So, um, I'm sorry, Sargon. Uh, we had to. We had to do a thing. Uh, we ended up. We ended up getting a new model. But you know, if it if it ever comes around, I mean, we might we might be cycling back into like maybe a new model again. I don't know. I don't know how much longer th- this has this has to it. Uh, in fact, in fact, I'm gonna do something now. Um, <clears throat> if if this guy doesn't get more interesting, I'm just right now he's lost a corner. He's lost a corner to me. Um, uh, I'm even folding it in. I'm folding it in. He's lost a corner. Uh, that's just flopping around. He's lost a corner to me. But that's so. I mean, Sargon, if you want to be more interesting, um, you know, maybe you could be my my trash can next again. Maybe you could repeat. You never know. You never know. Do a new chud? I mean, you know, uh, I'm subject to the trash you deliver to me, chat. Uh, anyway, so Sargon is English and white and can't cook. So let's see what happens. A simple tweet. I hope you very have a fantastic day. 18 months, baby. Okay. From a chap called Philip Lemoyne, who's an average PhD student. Americans genuinely believe they have better food than France. Can I understand? What's the comp- like? What is this, like weird thing you're doing with the audio here it sounds like you're far away like it sounds muffled you're you're too compressed or something like do you hear this average phd student americans genuinely believe they have better food than france ah uh, uh, yeah that's not something's wrong with your mixing sargon i'm here to help uh philip lemoyne americans genuinely believe they have better food than france they really believe it it's truly extra- extraordinary uh, I don't, I don't think that I think that the average American eats better than the average French person. I think the, I think that America has more offerings of types of food and French is among them. Um, but I think that a, a French person eats, eats more well than an American person on average. Does that make sense? So I think. Anyway, that's my take. They believe it. It's truly extraordinary. To which then the average Frenchman replies... Yeah, it's suppression. It's too much. All of the cope and the replies and quote tweets is like, America has a lot of good restaurants, which is true and not the point. The American food scene has improved tremendously in the past 15 years, which is impressive. But what the average American eats is poisonous, disgusting slop. Uh, I mean... <laughs> A little bit true, but it's capitalism, baby. He carries on in other tweets after this. Uh, the, pro- the produce and leaps in the average French market is leaps and bounds beyond. The produce in an average French market that. is just leaps and bounds beyond anything in the US. Just I don't know about anything, but yeah, often. Leaps and bounds. A surprising amount of replies talk about Mexican food, which is hilarious. We are so good at putting slop on a tortilla. What do you say about that, Frenchie? Is posting an L. Nobody outside the U.S. or Mexico cares about Mexican food. That that is just so true. It's... The English T- putting down the Mexican food, dude. The Me- Mexican food is a delightful, a delightful food. Uh, I've been making a lot of it this year. Made some traditional sort of carnitas, pretty traditional, and cinnamon and everything in it. Um, we've done. We've done tacos. We've done birria. Uh, we've done al pastor. Delicious. As well, right? One thing Americans are better at, he says, is steak. You guys typically cook steak better, and while the average meat in France is leaps and bounds beyond the average meat in the U.S., you guys have top tier meat. He's right, but French meat does suck. He's right, though. Um, and so this, this somehow. Gained the ire of uh, one Matty Iglesias, the guy who thinks there should be a billion people in the United States. There, there should be a billion. What? what? How? The, the the types of circles that Sargon complains about, like Matthew Iglesias. Who do you who who? 
Who the fuck cares? What? And uh, various other things. Uh, and he just posted this. Uh, one thing that can unite America in this age of hyperpartisanship is dunking on Peg's food takes. Yeah, Pascal Emmanuel Gobru, who I don't know who the fuck that is. Don't care. Uh, that is a terrible take. Mexican food is delicious and it is complex and it's about the freshness of ingredients and you're probably thinking of like Taco Bell or something, which isn't, or like school lunch tacos, which is, you know, what I expect a fucking dumbass white, a cocky to think, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's ex exactly what I thought you would think. But he is totally right about that. There's a few aspects of this conversation I found fun. Go on. First one, him being, uh, we're making the point that actually loads of Americans have noticed when they go on holiday for a substantial period of time, which yeah. is that they'll go to somewhere in Europe, not necessarily France, yeah. and they'll live and they feel pretty normal. And they get back to America and they realize the food is poisoning them. Yes. And they're like, hang on, that's strange. I saw um, one of a woman who went to, it was France, I think she went to. It's crazy. Aren't you capitalists? This is what happens with the capitalism, man. Like, we have access to food. And depending on where you go, we might be in a food desert, though, because we're bigger than a little tiny little baby rock island. You know what I mean? She was like, for some reason, I can eat the bread here. But when I go back to America, it, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I get my irritable bowel syndrome back. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, well... You, you you gotta you gotta eat the good bread. That really makes you think, doesn't it? I mean, a couple of reasons. I mean, uh, we'll get into it later. But the the bread you buy in the supermarket here, you know, the bread, yeah, the soft stuff that's not actually from a bakery, like that kind of is poison. Follow the conversation. It's not from a bakery. It's it's not proper bread. It's it's industrial. Well, yeah, slot. sure. It's not like well, but sure. It's yeah. Follow the conversation. But Ma mass mass bread. <laughs> but take that and then make Americans make it. Who, of course, then add sugar and turn it into what is legally classified as cake <laughs> now in Ireland. So that's why Subway sandwiches <laughs> is Subway cake. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know. Bread is classified as cake. It's, it's got that sugar. much sugar in it. Yeah. Right. Have you ever had uh, Spanish bread? It's, Probably. I don't remember. It's sweet. You'd remember if you had it because it's horrific. Uh, it's horrific. Dude, all these, all these boys have uh, tiny little mouths. Spanish bread? It's just called Spanish bread? Why do you think this? It's called Spanish bread. You think this is just a normal loaf? Just this is what the bread is of the Spanish. <laughs> it's place of origin, Philippines. He probably thinks this is from Spain. Spanish bread, incredible. Go, Dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> He's so stupid. Uh, English people don't know what good Mexican food is. Isn't it a thing they have? To, yeah, they don't have access. Just watch them try to cook it. Pictures, they haven't a clue what they'll be asked to make. Uncle Roger hate great British. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not going to watch this content, but yeah, obviously. I remember being like 15 and going on holiday to Tenerife. And my, my dad just think, oh, well, we'll get bread and ham, make some sandwiches rather than go out. And it was a sweet ham sandwich. And I was like, dad, I can't eat this. This is disgusting. This is a croissant. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. This is the, no, but croissants are better than that. But that's that's a whole conversation that's interesting and a great yeah, yeah. perspective. Blah, blah, blah. blah. They let it's so funny how much of this is is included in like racism. You know what I mean? Like a lot of this is informed by like, well, what's the whitest country? And like <laughs> very it's very interesting <laughs> to watch to watch them sort of like go around in circles, okay, like what's the trad what's the trad meal that I can't eat? But it's been a long some croissants are sweet. Time coming, I feel. The Mexicans have been getting away with this. Oh yeah. And not even specifically the Mexicans themselves. It's, it's not the Americans getting away with it is no, no. The, the way the way I look at it is the Mexicans have basically been abusing the Americans. Yeah, they've been totally taking advantage of their hospitality and taste buds. So uh, the, any the, the people who own Taco Bell have got a lot to answer for. I feel they Taco really do because I've been to America. I've eaten Mexican food in America, and it's well, I'm not impressed as how this all came about. But anyway, right? Any any X to doubt? In in chat X, I'm clicking X. Hold on, let me post. Post a little X. There we go. Just make sure it's official. So even Doubt. even uh, Matt's own followers are like, yeah, I don't know, Mexican food is not great. I'm not sure why more people don't recognize that sort of thing. Dude, these people are fucking racist. You don't tell. You can't tell me. You can't tell me that if someone doesn't like Mexican food, that they're not racist. You're full. You're full of hate and racism, no matter what. <laughs> There's just no fucking way, dude. 
But uh, and then I I found this and I was just like, yeah, but Mexican food is absolutely atrocious though. The chili's there to hide the poor quality of the ingredients, not to enhance the flavor. The poor quality ingredients. This is how I know, dude. This is how I fucking know. Uh, this, poor quality. This ingredients. went down well with a lot of people. Yeah, you got fucking ratioed, dog. <coughs> Mostly Mexicans or Americans? Mostly Americans. I don't think that many Mexicans use Twitter. Probably too busy being asleep. So they're probably too busy mixing a batter. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the average Mexican does, um, but you can. See- I, oh, really? He's ignorant of what the average Mexican is like. Either I'm surfing just ahead of the ratio. Yeah, I'm too powerful for you, Matt. Uh, <laughs> and so while I was sleeping like a baby, dude, that many quote tweets is not not a ratio. <laughs> I posted this literally just before I went to bed. Oh, uh, this this tweet was um, doing the rounds, and so I had lots of people replying to me stuff like this. This legitimately looks unpleasant to me. Prawns, chilies, avocados, and lime? This isn't a meal. It's an assault in the senses. Yeah, this is fucking so stupid, Carl. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're actually... You have a baby mouth. All right-wingers have baby mouths. I don't know how they keep doing it. How do they keep doing this? You know someone sucks based on their food opinions. This is just how it works. Uh, Tell me you never had Mexican food without having Mex- without telling me you never had Mexican food. And then they posted this. But if you look at this, right? It's, it's Yes! What do you mean if you look at this? It has spices and color and flavor and texture. This is good. These are quality, fresh ingredients. Prawns, he says. Fuck. Dude. We need to we need to get rid of the British. Revolutionary War II, specifically over this. Shrimp, sh- uh, shrimp or prawn, I'm not sure which. Shrimp. Lemon, uh, sorry, limes, avocados, chilies, and rice, and just... Have you ever seen a more cocky-ass motherfucker than right now? This is, look, this is why... Th- this is white supremacy. This is bullshit. This is... you. I have never heard someone say more racist shit than, than look at this... Doesn't this look bad? <laughs> Incredible. And I'm like, look, that looks like an assault in the senses. Well, I don't. That doesn't look. Milk appeal- boy, please have some sense. Have a backbone. Te- dunk on Carl like he deserves. Thing to me, milk boy. Milk boy. And so I was like, look, your silence is fucking ridiculous, milk boy. But they'll stuff congealed blood in a sheep intestine and call it fine dining. Cunts, dude. Surely you can accept that there is a corrupting nature to the concept of spice. And in fact, the path of virtue is the path of the path of moderation. I mean, you're putting it in flowery language there, but I mean, this is scientifically true. And we've oh, I'm sure it decades. is. I'm sure it is. So when you eat spice, the reason yeah. it tastes good is because the spice is actually killing your taste buds physically. Yeah, it makes it makes it triggers the uh, female in the heat. Right? Go. I have no fucking respect for British people. This is just this is just actually embarrassing. The only chef these guys know is Boyardee. Wow. This is this is actually so fucking depressing. You well, are killing us, Jake. You can stop this whenever you want, chat. You know how to do it's it. It's also actually exterminating your ability to taste. Is it? It's not uh, a myth. It's a real thing. <laughs> this is why if you eat so much spice that you're so used to it, you can't taste normal foods anymore? Spice? What do they think spice is? That didn't look spicy. Do they think red and orange colors are spicy? Limes. We have limes? These fucking coward babies. I fucking hate the British. Sink it in the sea. All of it. 100% of it. In the fucking sea. There's no point to this. I hate them. Full Voldemort. I had no idea, but I'm choosing to believe that because it confirms all of my biases. Oh, it's actually true. I don't care what this. Like, it's just okay. What well, <laughs> is a sincere problem? Because if this is why, if you go to a country and just eat loads of spicy food for ages until you acclimatize and then come yeah. back to the UK, you, you you kind of fall out of love with our food because you're not actually able to taste it anymore. Because it's bland. Callum, milk boy. You're coping. When you go to other countries, they have flavor in their food. And when you come back, 
to the British, to the to the colonial British kingdom. Uh, the the food doesn't have taste to it. Yeah, you're coping. It's because British food sucks dicks, guys. No one has fish and chips. Come on, dude. Forrest Espion, as a Mexican, that, st that statement made me crack up. Mexicans are taking advantage of Americans' taste buds for too long. If you ever want great Mexican food within the USA, come to Southern Cal. We are 40 to 60% of the population. Jake, I've never been to SoCal, no. Uh, thanks for the biddies. Uh, how does the saying about British cooking go? They conquered other countries to escape their own cuisine? Dude, it's fucking disgusting. It's not, yeah. oh, I'm so used to something better. It's actually, you physically have destroyed your mouth, you're, you're, and they now need time to regrow. You've got Cope. some sort of culinary Cope. disability from eating spices. Sincerely. Um, because, I mean, like, I, I was just... All right-wingers can't cook. That's a fact. There's not a single conservative that can cook. Speaking from a philosophical perspective, surely this just shows... You just happen to stumble across the science. <laughs> well, no, it just happens to also be true. Uh, <laughs> We recognize the corrupting nature of spices and decide on the path of virtue and consider that your taste buds have been debauched and you are unable to detect quality. And this is what habituation is. Aristotle speaking through the ages, I'm telling you, right? I love how you've come across like some kind of monk. Yes. Like you put it in Christian language almost. Yes. Well, it's, it's virtue. Make ethics. fun of him. Okay. But it, but it is actually scientifically true. Yes. But that's so is virtue ethics. But cool. that Dude, they're so fucking lame. They're such fucking losers. We're talking about the virtue ethics. We're very smart. A sip of the tea, chap. A sip of the tea, chap. This needs to be blown up by an American bomb. This whole set. It has the juice. Or the IRA. These guys are stupid. That's true. You taste buds auto change all the time. Every two weeks you get new taste buds, right? Chad, I apologize. When I submitted this, I did not think their taste would be this bad. I'm so flustered I can't type. Here's some bit. Thanks. That doesn't matter because uh, it's hell with science. Anyway, people started posting pictures like this of me and they're like, oh yeah, like UK food is some kind of world-renowned delicacy. And it's like... Does this look delicious to you? But that's an amazing looking meal. What? Lumpy packet gravy, packaged sausage, lumpy mashed potatoes, and plain like frozen or canned peas? An amazing meal? We need to send FEMA to Great Britain. And we need to get rid of great. Just call it Britain. We need to send FEMA. What the fuck? They need, they need MREs. These people need nutrition immediately. We describe it for people listening. And also yeah, it's really, really good quality bangers, mash, gravy, and peas. All appropriately uh, placed on the plates. So you can eat them separately or mix with whichever you like. Yes. Butter the peas, etc. And in fact, in, the mash. in fact, this, this in fact, is the, the crux of the problem of slop. It's actually the kind of sort of mass-produced food for the mass man, right? If you mix everything together... A, you can't really choose to taste anything because it's all mixed together in the same... Uh... What? What's he talking about? Dude, does everything have to be a fucking KFC bowl in Great Britain? I can't do it without my KFC bowl ingredients, mashed potatoes, gravy, peas, and, and fucking meat. I need it in my bowl, but it needs to be separate or it's too combined. Fuck, dude. Baby mouths. A bucket, presumably. A bucket? This is a cast iron skillet, and you would scoop it out. You would probably have some tortillas on standby. <laughs> this looks delicious and seasoned. This has acid and heat and sweetness and, and savoriness and salt. And you see some black beans in there, some rice, some peppers, maybe some tomatoes, cilantro, green onions, dude. Avocado, a little fatty coolness if you want it. I'm in. This looks amazing. I kind of want to make this now. I assume that is. I mean, this is a mean example. A mean example? What? As in, like, I agree with you on the slop aspect. And the thing I was thinking of was, like, the canteens we read about in Maoist sure. China. The, the ones we read about. And the flavors are melded and not just random foods on a plate. I mean, this is... 
no, no, I'm going to use this as an example. How okay. are you? How are you? Callum's like this looks good. I'm going to taste something that doesn't uh, come to your mouth totally coated in chili. What the fuck, you white piece of shit, dude! Oh my god! Please, please, we need better white supremacists. We need white supremacists that are actually supreme. <laughs> please, it's a fuck. It covered in chili. He sees red in there. It doesn't look hot. You fucking coward, bitch. I'm so tired. Can we get... We need... Okay, look. My enemies in life are right-wingers. Can the enemies that we have in life be worth having? Like, they're not men. They're not, like, imposing. They're not... They're not... This is a glorious battle. They're fucking... They're fucking pudge. They're just pudged. This is fucked. They're milky pudge boys. You can't. Right, that's the problem. How are you going to distinguish one flavor from another? You can't. As in what? You can't. He can't eat. He can't have the. F There's too many flavors. He's gonna break me. This is too many flavors. I'm fucked. I, it's, I, I'm fucked up by this. This is fucked up. This is the worst fucking shit he's ever said in my life. The the the, the, the fucking delicious food isn't good. What? Eating is too much flavor. I have known I didn't like this guy from the second I talked to him for the first time. That was the moment I was like, man, this guy fucking sucks. This like, how do you get this shitty? How do you just fucking? You just suck at every level of your life. It's crazy. It's crazy. We need to get a baby food. This, uh, yeah. and you can't actually savor and appreciate the meal. Savor that bowl and appreciate the meal. tastes all the same. You exactly. Can tell exactly. Whereas with this, you, you savor the dry mashed potatoes in the packet gravy. You cunt. But you, you can actually choose how to craft the flavor yourself. Nope. There is a, no. a measure no. of sophistication no. that goes into no. uh, the British the British meal. No. But also the fact that these are decent quality ingredients that actually don't need to be bastardized with copious amounts of spices. Spices. You ever had curried peas, by the way? It's so good. It is a pleasure to eat mash and gravy or sausage Lights. and mash or whatever it is. It's a pleasure. These are enjoyable things, assuming your taste buds are intact. You know what I find funny? Yep. This is also very similar, I feel, to Japanese food. Oh, yeah. Like, for some reason, you'll have people essing on British food, being like, it then... Essing? Essing? Like, shitting? Tasteless. But then when you talk about, like, rice and fish, yeah. all of a sudden, oh, Japan. But you have rice and raw fish. Yeah. <laughs> but again, like, it's not... <laughs> raw fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Callum, we can't have the raw fish now, can we? Yes, we must live. Mormon Jesus. Gnome Pickles, thank you for the raid. Oh, yes, I must have my stewed fish. And my peas next to my fish of bangers and mash or fish and chips. The two acceptable meals in the British Go. diet. Covered in spices, you do get, of course, spicy dishes yeah. in Japanese food. But yeah. it's, it's not like Indian food. That's not be silly. Mm. Like If you're eating sushi. Indian food? You actually have to have a clean palate to taste it. Yeah, you have to know what you Indian you're... food, what? Indian food is delicious. They're just fucking racists, guys. It just, it just My corn is their so minds. moist that it's actually Sargon dripping. Gloop cooking show win. I want to see that true superior food, man. I, I, look, I, I, he's making me an extremist. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, sign me up to the fucking I IRA. Let's go. British, fuck him. Let's just go. Start bombing libraries because of him. Or whatever the IRA did. <laughs> I don't know. Cafes? Were they cafe bombers? It's not really what you should do, but you're radicalizing me right now. <laughs> Gnome Pickles! 19 months. Minty peas. Dude, have they never had a samosa? A pea-based delicious food? Your, 
what you're eating. And you can tell what you're eating, even though I really don't like the look of it. But anyway, so I carried on. The American's palate I is... I don't like the look of sushi. He needs... I mean, maybe... Maybe... <laughs> Sargon needed a little a little run-in with, uh, with Dave's parents. Get slapped up as a child. So abused by the food of the foreigner that he can't distinguish flavors outside an extreme range. It's either blisteringly spicy or mind-numbingly sweet. He is the victim of culinary Stockholm Syndrome. Uh, I got called a lot of names for that, but I stand by it all. Right? I am not, not backing down on any of this. And so people will be like, oh, look at that. And it's like, hang on a second. You are, and in fact, I, I said this, right? The American's palate is so debased, he can't appreciate the obvious excellent quality of the bread and the richness of the sauce. Because the richness of the canned beans? Of course, for non-UK viewers, there is a marked difference in the cheap nine pence a can baked beans and the sort of 50p a can baked beans. And it's in the quality of the sauce. Have you the seen the price of beans recently? No. I love Just the canned beans for them. Those are the quality beans, the canned ones. Let my wife, 50p. <laughs> I let my wife do the shopping. 140. I oh. let my wife do the shopping, this fucking guy. What? Yeah. You're on a can of Heinz, it's 140 now. Jesus Christ. Okay. The quality, though. <laughs> going back to the quality. Hey, look you at a nine pence thing of baked beans. What are you talking about? Well, when <laughs> I was your age, it was nine pence. All right. <laughs> like you could get, uh -huh. get like the cheapest. But the thing is, you knew you had the cheapest because there's no way the sauce oh would God. have. By the way, chat, you guys have momentum. That kind of consistency to it. It keeps it was literally runny. Uh, but and then look at the bread. The bread's obviously of high quality. So he's he's, he's post bakery bread. Exactly. It's actually bread. Exactly. Actually. <laughs> authentic bread but also high quality bread and so he's posting this high quality looking meal and being like well hang on a second this this is high quality meal for a british person good god the fucking british empire that's a high quality meal in the british empire wow beans and toast wow thank you queen sorry king she died thank you the king for our beans and toast I appreciate it. You think the fucking king's eating this shit? Do you think the fucking king of England is eating beans and toast like this? The answer is obviously fucking no. This is literally the best they can do. Canned beans and a piece of toast. Look at this rubbish. And it's like, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. That'll thing. taste good. We actually did a segment on this a while back, if you remember. I do. Local American man ate beans on toast and then was like, oh, that's great. Yeah. I told you. I might, I might actually do a little video explaining it. It's like, beans on toast is food that you can eat. It isn't better than fucking carnitas. <laughs> it isn't better than fajitas. It certainly isn't better than whatever that uh, shrimpy rice thing was. Paella. It wasn't really paella, but, you know, close. Look, you've got to put a copious amount of salted butter under the beans for the maximum flavor. Salted butter, just so much butter, and toast and beans. Wow, sounds very different from your, your meal of potatoes, peas, and Go butter. <laughs> Not enough lard to be English enough. Yeah. Anyway, Not enough yeah. butter, dude. Yeah, yeah, and then the butter melts into the beans. And it just, honestly, Americans, you don't know what you're missing. But anyway, I was reliably informed that, of course, uh, not appreciating Mexican food was racist. Yes, you're fucking racist. I know. So this is the thing, though. Like, like you have the opinions because you start from a racist point, and then you're finding reasons to be upset at it. spices assaulting your senses. It's just fucking crazy. It's so much cope, dude. British food is, again, yummy. There isn't a single, like, delicious British food. You have to make it. It's all like the best thing I think they have is those little those little fucking like Yorkshire puddings with the gravy and it's still fucking gravy and bread. The best thing they have is gravy and fucking bread. We all have gravy and bread, guys. Jesus. Isn't this interesting? We're all talking fish and chips isn't even just their thing. I grew up in Michigan. We do fish fries too. <laughs> Not a big deal. Think about Mexican food. <laughs> and the only people talking are American. Yeah. I mean, it's not usually you talk about French food and then the British start getting upstarty about it. Culinary Stockholm Syndrome. That's what I was saying. They, they, they have been... But like, Anglo-American food's fantastic. Hmm? 
Why not defend that? Yeah. Like American breakfast. I mean, cool. American breakfast. Uh, you have to butter the beans so they get out of your system faster because your body wants to reject it. I like beans. Uh, these people conquered India of all places, and this is the yeah. Well, he said that India just looks like slop to him. It, it, like the food they eat, because the curries and stuff, which is awful. He's so fucking stupid. There are some things I disagree with, but I can see that it's good. Yeah. Chat flirting with I mean, momentum. Burgers. Everyone yeah, loves burgers. Fantastic. I mean, even hot dogs, even though it's you know it's like yeah. the assholes of pigs and stuff. But, but it's a it's a good use for the unpalatable parts of an of an animal. Cornbread. I've never actually had cornbread. Oh, it's amazing. Is it? I didn't realize how good it was. I thought it was. Mm -hmm. good. Yeah, that's, well, that's fantastic. And that uh, is basically cake. I bet again, it's cake. Yeah. But there's lots of things that make American food cornbread. Not all beans, just those beans. No. Very nice. Yeah. But then why the hell are the Americans sitting there being like, yeah, you know, Taco Bell stuff? i tell you what, man. I went to Taco, Taco Bell. is not what they're talking about. Uh, Jake, I've seen you cook Mexican food a couple times. I want to ask, what's your top three Mexican dishes and why? Like, what do I like the most? Oh, wow. That's a big question. Wow. Texas, think? and they roast meat in a really, really good way. They, Guacamole. They... It's so simple, but it's so good. Like proper guac, hand smashed, uh, in a mocajete, a little salt, a little lime, avocado, onion, cilantro. You can get after a little bit of some other stuff if you want. Onions. Some people do tomato. I don't really like it. I like tomatoes, but I don't really. Um, fucking. Dude, everything is so good. Every Mexican food is good. Carnitas for sure is up there. It's like one of my favorite things in the world. Sorry, pigs. You shouldn't be affordable during loom and recession constantly. Um, I don't know. Another, I mean, just fucking all of it. Fajitas. Al Pastor is amazing. Birria has obviously got a big kick. That's a, you know, not a super common thing. I just like a good fucking street taco, honestly. Like just quality... Quality fajita, quality taco action, also good. Fresh guac, though. I make it regularly. It's good, man. La lengua. I, the local Mexican place makes lengua here, but I don't really like the texture. They've got, they do it's have tongue. some good spices, but it's not excessive and it's not slop. You know, the, the meat is on the plate. It's separate from the other things. You can taste, you can choose to taste it if you want. Like, you're better than so this? Stupid. Yeah. Comes to mind? Yeah. But for some reason, they were like, not our Mexicans. You can, yeah. Mexican food is delicious, and it's really it's really fresh, high quality ingredients. And these people denigrate it because they associate Mexican, like they do that thing where they're like, oh, they're poor and fucking, you know, they're just they're being racist. <laughs> it just is what it is. That's why you get called racist because you're like, oh, look at these poor, slop eating people. And it's like, what the fuck? Mexican food is awesome. It really and is honestly, great. it's it started going um, in a strange direction, right? So. I had people saying things like, well, only a Brit could describe cheap canned beans as rich. It's like, this is your cheese. Yeah, that's one of the downsides of America. Whose cheese is that? Is oh, don't. I hope American cheese is actually good for one thing. Today. Grilled cheese, baby. Uh, or, well, cheeseburgers too. McPlatypus, thanks for one a haggis. Jesus Christ. Which is the cheeseburgers. Because oh, you, you never had a grilled cheese. But yeah, American cheese is good. Also, this isn't our cheese. Uh, that, is, that is definitely a cheese that we have here. It's called American cheese, and they really should have just named cheddar American cheese. So you were going to say, like, repair. I don't think most people eat American cheese mostly. A hole in the wall. Well, that's it, yeah. What do you think the number one cheese you eat is? It's mozzarella for pizza, or it's probably cheddar, right? In tomato soup? Simzoid. We need to, we need to have, we need to have a come to Jesus moment, okay? We need to get out of this. But it is the. I've done this thing that you're talking about. $1. Guys, like, this makes me want to say, as a gesture to my spice rack, yeah, I'm racially white, but I'm not practicing. <laughs> I'm not a practicing cocky. Any cheese that will melt perfectly without Provolone? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, but I don't care. I don't care if it's named after somewhere in Scotland. It's not the same. I'm saying it doesn't have its That's use. That's just one use. I, but I'm saying that if we're going to talk about... I like American cheese for those two things. I really keep... I keep it in the house sometimes for those two things. It's really great. Quality of food. This is technically not a cheese. In America, no. this is registered as a cheese-like product. In the UK, it's a dairy-based product. Yes. So, anyway, interesting. Let's carry on. Uh, I, I also have to take issue with a lot of American cooking, especially in the days of social media. Yeah, neo-American cooking. 
Yeah, neo-American cooking. Let's call it that. 21st century American cooking, right? Because I, I was only made aware of this because on my Facebook feed, a video came up of a woman with a slow cooker and she was pouring. It's crazy to me that you would have this frame like this and not cut out the tabs. Crisps into it. And I was like, All right. What was she doing? With a slow cooker and she was pouring crisps into it. And I was Are we like, talking about this TikTok rage bait stuff? All right. And then she pulled. <laughs> what do you mean, right? He's boomerang <laughs> out. He's buying. He's he's believing the TikTok stuff. Oh my I, God. I I stopped to watch it because I was like, okay, where is this going? Like, what could she possibly be doing that for, right? And then she pours like a bunch of milk in, and then gets an entire stick of butter, pours that in, gets loads of cheese, and then leaves it. Comes back and like starts smushing it all around. And I'm like, oh my god. And I mean, she, like she kept adding stuff to it, and I was. Uh, Forrest Espion, Jake, ever tried Mexican candy? If so, what's your top three? I have tried some. I have tried some. Uh, let's see. I don't really know their names because... Uh, let's see. I have had... I've had this stuff before. Good. Sort of... Isn't it just like... Uh, Halls is a Mexican candy? Um... um Wait, these are just the reviews? This is all the fucking Mexican candies you have? New products. All candy, dude. Just all candy. Here we go. This is more likely what I'm talking... Yeah, I mean, they sell this stuff in my local uh, local store. Some of those cakes and stuff. I've also gotten a box before. I don't know what my favorite is, though. We'll run across something that I cool. really liked. Um, I... I've had Dulce de Leche, yeah. I'm not, uh, again, not into big sweets, okay? Uh, I dare these people to come visit the South. I'll give them fried chicken that will make their heads explode. The South would kill these freaks of nature off. <laughs> it really would. Um, a lot of the snacks were what I was more into. Stop it. <clears throat> Dude, do we have anything else? I feel like this isn't the stuff I have access to. Well, I've seen these before. A lot of the drinks... Yaritos. I don't know. Some of those. Mystery candy. Amazing. It's just like, right, I don't ever want to hear American critiques of British cooking ever again, right? And I, I, it turns out that this Lay's actually have a recipe for mashed potatoes that has a three out of five star rating, which is... On their own website. On their own website, which is just... Well, like, this is slop. Uh, stir in Lay's original potato chips. Wait, what? Water and potato chips. Oh wow, gross! Oh, this is disgusting. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's just. I mean, is to this, be fair, is this a thing that people do? We should make clear. I don't think many people in the United States are doing this, or at least I hope not. Well, like I said, there's enough that I saw women post, and, and this is not the only time I've seen it. And I have seen some atrocious things. I saw one woman make a lasagna out of hamburgers from McDonald's, literally unwrapped McDonald's hamburgers, oh. made a lasagna out of them as the, the base layer, and then. Pasta and cheese and stuff. Is this not trolling TikTok though? I don't. He's trying to. It is. What? What do you mean you don't know? Don't know. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I fuck. This guy's so stupid, man. How the fuck does he have any career whatsoever? Right. I and but, but that's the point. It's that I don't know. It's crazy. The problem. Right. Anyway, moving on. So someone was like, "Yeah." So if you like spicy food, your taste buds are run through. I was like, yes, that's exactly what's happening here, right? Because that is exactly is how the Americans reacted. Spicy food. What? Have a taco. That's spicy automatically. Crazy. They literally came up to, like, I, I, it was like I'd gone up to a woman and said, you've had too many boyfriends. You're a slut. And they were like, no, I like my Mexican food. I'm not run through. My taste buds can still detect sweet and sour. I'm not a whore for Mexican food. How dare you accuse me of eating too much Mexican? And that was neither the of these guys can cook. Like, Damn. This is it. This is this is the problem. And the, the and the, the problem with going up to a woman and saying, "Oh, you've had too many partners," she can't take it back. So she's left in a position where she just has to deny. How did he segue into sexism, bro? You have moral legitimacy in your critique, and uh, and that's kind of where the, the Americans were. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about food, are we? Both. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's it. But the Americans reacted. And I love you, Americans, but. You have no moral legitimacy in eating from Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah. And, like, again, it, the, the memes just kind of fit themselves. Like, my taste buds, your taste buds. 
it, it just it just really worked. You know what's weird as well is it's always quite exciting when an American fast food chain comes to the UK. Is it? Well, it is <laughs> in a way they're like, oh, fast food. Why are they saying fast food? What the fuck? Well, they've opened their first store. Okay, let's go try yeah. it. And I've had this like yeah. because of Reading. So I would never consider like if the British were capable of having enough culture to export a fast I food chain, have a fantastic day. which has never happened. Uh, we don't have any British export. We don't have British fucking like restaurants here. Really, you might have one that's like, oh, I'm an English pub, <laughs> but it's like a shtick. Force Espion, ten months. Uh, and, uh, it's just like, they're judging Mexican food on Taco Bell. Right. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Chat. We can end this whenever you like. <laughs> Used to be where I live. You guys keep, lot. keep teetering on the edge. Open next. It's a testing ground. Yep. Wendy's. Absolutely fantastic. They got yep. closed down because of Baja Fresh. Political reasons. Yeah. Baja Fresh is better than, uh, better than Taco Bell though. Five and guys then, is pretty good. Wing stop. Not like five guys. Great, but interesting. Mm -hmm. like that's that's one of the lesser interesting ones. Wingstop is interesting. He likes Wingstop. He can't say good things about it in Sargon's present. Um, Chick Fil A. Yeah. Whatever you know. And then <sighs> we got a Taco Bell in Swindon. Yeah, don't care. Mm. Interesting, that isn't it? Have you not ever tried Reading. Taco Bell? Yeah, and it's not worth the money. No, it's it, there's, there's something about Taco Bell food that is really like unfulfilling. And I've yet to put my finger on it. I might, we, I might have to go there at some point for lunch to to experiment a bit yeah, more. Yeah, just to go there and experiment, not because I liked it, dude. Taco Bell is specifically for Taco Bell. It's not Mexican food. It's Taco Bell. That's what it is. You go there because they have things that are texturally different, and their menu changes regularly, which is awesome. That's why you go. Well, because I went to America, and they were like, "Right, what do you want?" And I was like, uh, "I'm a bat," and it was just a bowl of beans. Or a bowl of rice, and it was just like beans and rice. It's like that's not a meal. I just got robbed. I want meat. Yeah, exactly. Beans and rice is a meal, but I don't know what he's talking about. What? What? Where did he get a beans and rice from? Like, was, and and it was all just mixed in. There was no, but like there was a kind of emptiness to the flavor as well. It's like you know, there's the initial sort of strike of it, but there's not. It's fast food. The 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 body of it that was really missing. But anyway, right. So. Turns out the Americans are, are essentially abused by the Mexicans, in my opinion. And that, then people are like, well, look, look. The Mexicans do not own Taco Bell. What? <laughs> it's not a Mexican company. You're talking about like... Nothing to lose but your chains. <laughs> exactly. Like, free yourselves from this, Americans, right? Uh, they, they were saying, look, you're not even looking at what is happening to the food before it even gets to the point of cooking it. And it's like, yeah, that's a great point. Like... I really, I like with the women who are like, oh, why can I eat this bread or I can't eat American bread? I, I think there are lots of additives and preservatives and various other things that are added to American food, which is not good for you. Right? <laughs> Mad at the capitalist uh, system for churning out low nutrition food. So on day three, I was upgraded to white supremacist. <laughs> Definitely true. Go. Cool. Absolutely true. Taco Bell, a Mexican restaurant so Mexican it was banned in Mexico twice. Wow. <laughs> For being I like Taco Bell, but only sometimes. Against Mexican slop. Yep. And uh, Matt Iglesias caught wind of this, and he was like, the perfect euro rightist food take. Yep. Mexican food is bad because it's too flavorful. Literally, that's what you fucking said. I mean, I'd just like to thank Matt. For hang on, hang on, before we... I'd like to thank him for recognizing the brilliance of my take. Mexican food is bad because it's too flavorful. It has too many flavors so that when you go and eat British food, you're like, wow, this is pretty bland. That's my good take. Right. That's why he, he, the perfect take, I agree. Because it was my take. Uh, but also, <laughs> Matt is unable to properly articulate what the problem is. The problem is actually not that Mexican food is too flavorful. Too spicy. It's not flavorful. That's why you need the spices. The spices? It's not flavorful. The sp What? What do you think is in sausage and gravy? What? It's not... It's so flavorful... It's not flavorful enough because it's too flavorful. It's fucking crazy. 
Callum, get him. I need Callum to waterboard. Uh, no, no, no. I need Callum to milkboard Sargon. That's why you add all of this stuff to it. If you could eat the ingredients without loading them with literally uh, tonsil searing, taste bud destroying spices. Tonsil searing, taste bud destroying. Is this rage bait? Then you wouldn't have all of that chili, but you can't. That's the problem. It's chili. Not what the fuck? Too flavorful. Um, but anyway, then I started food. Milk board to him. Really rub it in. To be honest. Oh my god, dude! Did your wife make this? What the fuck is this? Uh, that was what I had on Friday. This looks like shit. This looks like fucking dog shit. Not particularly looking great in terms of aesthetics, but the flavor I can taste from here, and I know that's good. Right. The, the funny thing is, right? the funny thing is, look at the person below, right? Oh, unseasoned ground beef, instant mashed potatoes, and microwave, microwave broccoli, and instant packaged gravy. Are you mad? Exactly. No, of course that's not what I was having, right? The, the broccoli I did boil just because I'm lazy, but my wife uses like this vegetable steamer, which is actually really good. A vegetable steamer, boiled broccoli. You're so fucking gross. I can't fucking know. This is actually fucking disgusting. With the mashed potato, I went to the shop, got like as fresh potatoes as I could get, peeled them by hand, mashed them, added loads of butter and salt, and of course made the gravy out of the fat from the uh, minced beef. So no, this is all fresh, all handmade. It was really good and it tasted delicious, frankly, as you would expect from a standard English meal. I love going in the face of these uh, stereotypes. Uh, but then AA... What do you mean going in the face of the stereotype? Uh, no, it was not gone in the face. Of the what? This is the stereotype. This is the, st this is the one. No, it's there. Stereotype. It's still happening. It's on the plate still. Porchetta? He started getting into it and be like, look, there's order and there's chaos. Yeah. I, I think AA really got to the nub of the issue for me personally. Yeah. With the visual aspects here. Yeah. The 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 roast the roast beef or roast pork, whichever that is. To porchetta? Is order. As in you have a plate that is arranged in a sensible manner in order to maximally enjoy the flavors of the food. And or you have slop. Look, I've got loads of different I don't care. I, I don't care about how many and this, this cubes another... you have in your spice cupboard. Exactly. What? Cubes? These men can't cook. They're babies. And this is another thing. It, the, the slop has a consistent flavor throughout the whole thing. Well, my meal is actually an adventure. You know, I'm going to... My meal's an adventure? You didn't eat that. You had... He... <laughs> no. Minced beef. Minced beef. <laughs> he had hamburger. He had hamburger and potato and boiled cake and fucking broccoli. Dude. Uh, <laughs> disgusting. To eat a different. <laughs> but I, 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 I might... Chat, are we watching MasterChef tonight to cleanse this Thetan? Or is this or is this this is just what the fuck it is? I want some parsnip and some uh, <laughs> is... cabbage and a bit of gravy. Well, I can make that happen. I can explore and experiment with what's on my plate when I'm not eating slop. I do very much agree. This is actually why I like Christmas dinner the most. Yeah. Because you can really just pick and choose. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet, but... On your own plate. Yeah, with higher quality. Yes. Not just... Exactly. You know, Different you, trays of this. You're, you're saying, oh, I think I've had too much cauliflower. For now. Okay, well, I'm going to have something else. I'm just going to have literally meat and potato. Brilliant. You know, it's... Uh, like, I, I'm just saying slop appreciators will never understand. Right? And then drugs started getting in with... Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, no. This just popped up on someone's feed. Just beard meat foods, very good guy. But mountain of Mexican slop. Mexican slop. It's a big fucking thing of goo nachos. What do you mean? This is not Mexican. <laughs> Does that say? What's that say? Slum chickens. Slop chickens. Go. Who knows? Food, kids' cuisine is an adventure. That's a sad excuse for slop. Yep. 
Yeah, I mean, I've never really got into Ridiculous. nachos. No, they're disgusting. I never really got into nachos. They're disgusting. They're lucky I'm not king of England. Off with their heads! You don't like nachos? Nachos! You don't like nachos! Off with your head! Go That's on. Thing. Why? I... <laughs> disgusting slop. Like, I Why would I eat like that? Like one or two, because, oh, it looks nice. And then the rest of it, I just don't want to touch. I never even like the taste of them. I just think, yeah. But uh, yeah, they're literally just autistic kids that just need very specific meals. And not not impressed. And uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, then Druck started getting in with uh, slop on there, just the memes, which are great. Anthony Bourdain traveling around the world saying this slop's amazing. I hate white people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a little bit. See what I mean? Because I mean, there is good food out there internationally. I mean, I think the Mexicans deserve a bit more than most. But yeah, there is also. Yeah. As he points out, like, what, what is this? A oh, it's a, that's a bowl of maggots. Yeah, there is also, you know, Asia. Yeah. So. But we, we didn't even touch on Asian food, to be honest. It would be a long conversation. Some but, high victories and then just bugs. Yeah, I, lo I love Gordon Ramsay's slop kitchen. You call that slop? Where's the sloper de macaco um delicia? <laughs> Where's the effing gutter oil? Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. I'll add more oil-based calories, chef. You're not supposed to wash your hands. Where's the effing lack of hygiene standards? And this... What is he talking about? All right, all right, all right, all right. We got to dismount from this. There's just no more. We're not doing any more of this. It's done. It's done. Uh, they're just sharing what they think are memes with their with his like Twitter following. I can't. I can't go through that. I'm not doing it. I refuse. Uh, British people can't cook. We should start the Revolutionary War again. This is ridiculous. Uh, the, the, the food takes that these fucking people have is just. Evidence enough. You don't cool. need to do anything further than that. That is all you need to know about these people to know that everything they know and think is bad. Every fucking thing. They have no good takes. They're bereft of takes that are good. This reminds me of the old bit where drunk Billy Wayne Davis went to a KKK rally and met a guy who refused to eat peanut butter because of it. It had a black creator, George Washington Carver. Didn't he not even invent peanut butter? It was other stuff, and he gets some credit for peanut butter. Or am I wrong? I thought, I thought the peanut butter thing specifically was like false credit. He did other peanut things. Carl and Milk Boy need to be tried for war crimes in Flavortown. Dude, it's just fucking crazy. I don't like, sp I don't like spices. Fucking what? Cumin? Go Cumin? Coriander? Garlic? Onions? Bell pepper? <laughs> okay. Uh, is that enough to warrant putting him back on the trash can? Maybe on the other side? No. No, Sargon's not back on the trash can. Hell fucking no. Uh, 